In our entry level model, we have one fan. In this level, we have two fans. Gives you a greater surface area for pulling. This one is $24.99. The entry level is $19.99, okay? The $24.99 model has two fans, a thicker pad, and it comes with a handheld, okay? And the handheld is really nice because this thing is movable, it's portable. And you can roll it around the room, plugged into regular power, uses regular water, and you can do your drapes or your shears or your dresses or your pants or your jackets, right? It also comes with this. This is a special sole plate, okay? The sole plate is there to make sure that things don't burn. So for example, I am certainly guilty of this. I have ironed my dress pants and I have made them shine, okay? This prevents that, okay? So now you can press dress pants and they will not shine, okay? By the way, let me pass that around. Let people fit. This is not cheap. I mean, just to give an idea of how solid that thing is, okay? Also, huh? Steam, right? Oh yeah, absolutely steam. Yeah. So, by the way, did you notice? Did you notice how thick the cord is? That is not a power cord. That is a steam cord, okay? Because the steam is produced in the generator here. It's not produced in the iron. It's produced in the steam generator. And this has got to be able to handle all that steam. That's why you have this elevator here to make sure there's always a loop in the line, okay? Now, take a look at the bottom of the iron. You'll notice the bottom of the iron is honeycombed. This is not a gimmick, okay? It is there because the honeycombs have channels. The channels channel the steam. So you'll notice the steam ports are only at the tip, okay? See that? But when you iron, the steam channels all the way through. So it distributes the steam all the way through the surface of the iron. You also notice that the steam, um, or the bottom of the iron is mirrored, okay? Why do you think that is? So it doesn't stick. It doesn't stick, that's right. So it's very smooth. So when you iron on here, it is literally like, it's just glass smooth. Now you can use this as a regular iron, you can use it as a steam iron. It doesn't what you do. You can do anything you want. By the way, it is not made to stand up, it falls down. There's no water in the iron, it falls down. So it's made to sit here, or here, okay? Um, these are um, out of actually rubber, but it's a special material that won't melt. Okay, so it's made to sit there. Okay? Right here. So when this is full, you can uh, continuously iron for about an hour. Very nice capacity. Regular water, not distilled water. You do have to descale it, depending on how hard the water is, about every three to six months. Okay? Regular power right there. This is a regular 110 volt outlet. No special power, no special water, extremely high power. Now it's also adjustable, okay? So you can be taller or shorter. So you see this knob right here, it's on both sides. If I turn this, I can go down or up, whatever I want, okay? Make it as high or low as I want. When I want to move it, I push it down, engage it. and roll it away, okay? So I can roll this around on an extension cord and take the handheld, connect it here, and use it for whatever I want to do. When I'm ready to use it, just pull the trigger, back up, lock, and there I am. Make sense? So that is how it does what it does. Now, this is a 120 volt version. The 220 volt version is available in Europe. One of the things that made this difficult to get to the United States was figuring out how to make it run on 120 volt versus 220 volt. Because the 120 volt works just as well except it takes longer to preheat, okay? So right now we're still preheating. It takes seven minutes to preheat this thing. Once it's preheated, you can go all day long and I did this for three working days at KBIS, and I'm telling you, it never slowed down. I slowed down, but it didn't slow down, all right? Now this is a lab coat. It is my other lab coat, okay? Lab coats are kind of heavy. So what I thought I would do would be to show you. Oh, the iron didn't heat. 
One thing you got to do, depending on which one you get, is sometimes you have to disconnect this when you finish, and then the iron should heat. It's not going to heat fully. Come on, baby. Come on. You're not going to do it, are you? Good, we're good. All right, so this is the steam. Okay, you're good. So you hear the sound? This is the sound of the motors. The motors pull the steam all the way through the board. If the steam goes through the board, that means it doesn't stop at the board. And if it doesn't stop at the board, it doesn't make the pad wet or damp or mildewy, but it also goes right through the get, right through the fabric. So watch this. I can literally steam things very, very quickly. Okay. Completely. Also, if I wanted to do a sleeve, that's double. Remember, the, the board is pulling at the same time this is pushing. So, I can now do this. And the objective is to save time, right? Just time. One, two. If I wanted to double that, and do two pant legs at the same time, or two sleeves, two jeans, two khakis, two whatever, okay? Put this down like that, line them up. Obviously take more time doing this than I am. Okay, and here's what I can do. One, two, three, four. Okay? Goes through all four layers. Alright? So the time savings is ridiculous. But if this were a more delicate fabric, let's say if it was a, a t-shirt with a pattern on it, or silk, or cashmere, or wool, okay? What I can do is I can take my sole plate for say silk. I can turn this down for uh, silk, turn the temperature down, put my sole plate on, and I can press and never damage the silk. <coughs> but what if I've got cashmere? Okay, or Angora, right? I don't want to do those on here. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to change the board, okay? The board can push as well as pull. So right now it's pulling. But for Angora or Cashmere, I want it to push. So change the direction, hit that, and it inflates, okay? Oh. Now I can change this. If you watch, I can have one fan on and make it weaker, or two fan on, make it stronger. Okay? So whichever one I've got on, now the clothing is floating on a layer of air. Okay? And all I have to do is that to get rid of the wrinkles. Okay? So a silk scarf or whatever you're doing, okay, you can have floating. A tie, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. So, you see what I mean? And change it again, hit, hit that again, and now it's pulling. There we go, now it's pulling. And you can actually feel it. You can feel the air coming out here. Feel this. Right there? Feel that? Yeah. Okay. Matter of fact, look below the board. Watch below the board. Watch. See this thing goes right through it? Yeah. Okay? So it doesn't stop at the board, okay? So this is called the Fashion Master. There are two of them. $24.99, $19.99. The $19.99 does not come with a handheld, has a slightly weaker steam pressure, has a slightly different pad, and only one fan. For $24.99, you get the two fans, the thicker pad, the handheld, and higher pressure. Okay? By the way, the pressure in the iron is continuous and it doesn't hurt you. Okay? The only where the only place the heat is is here. Here it's not bad at all. So you can literally give yourself a facial and it feels fine, okay? This, I do this every morning. I'm 86 years old, so it feels great, okay? So, all right? So we'll get your pants for you right there, okay? So this is the Fashion Master, folks. You've got to display it and show it to sell it, but I promise you this. People are afraid of our rotary iron because they don't know how to use it, but they're not afraid of this. This is an iron on steroids. 
and it does save you about 50% of your time. Okay? Thank you for today, folks. Thank you very much. Enjoy having me.